What up, y'all? Snit Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, and um, Uncle Lucas left Braden no choice. He left Braden absolutely no choice. It has finally happened in Power Book Two, Season Three, Episode Nine. Braden finally catches his own body, and it wasn't Trace. I know we all thought it was gonna be Trace up to this point, but it wasn't Trace. It was Uncle Damn Lucas because Uncle Lucas is too much of a bad person. That's the thing about power, right? Everybody's a bad person. But if you're someone who lacks morals and you're a really bad person, you're really slimy, you, you get that it off very, very fast. You see, Braden Weston learned a very, very valuable lesson about life. That Tariq was trying to get him to understand all along. Which is that being blood doesn't make you family. The people who you share the same morals with, that's your family. The people who are always there for you when you really needed them, that's your family. Someone who will die for you, kill for you, and risk their life for you, that's your family. And Braden understands this now. Lucas Weston was his uncle and he was trying to save him. But once he seen what kind of grimy person Uncle Lucas was. You see, he was even trying to talk Lucas out of it. But once Lucas said the main thing was that he was going to give up Kiki. Being that him and Kiki fell for each other. And he just said to Kiki, give me his location. Help me find him. And then I make sure that nothing happens to you. He gave her his word. And once Lucas said that he was going to remove that option, you seen the anger in Braden's face. And then he made his decision and he did it. And Braden did what he's supposed to do. I know all the way up until this point, everybody may have questioned what way Braden was going to go. He started off as a rich kid, never had to get involved with drugs, but he just wanted to do it because he loved the rush. He's a thrill junkie. It got real. He decided, hey, I'm going to have to do real things. And now this is the beginning of it. I'm going to make another video about how Braden is going to become the most savage person on this entire show. And being that we already have a Tommy, they're going to have to alter it in a way. And I think the only way for the comparison between him and Tommy, the only way to make people understand that Braden is going to be different from Tommy is, I think they're going to make Braden crazier than Tommy. They're going to make him crazy. It's like, it's going to be, imagine if Tommy was Tommy. But he started out rich first and lost it all. Because, you know, Tommy never had it and then he got it all. It's like an alternate life version. So I guess Trace or Trace really lucked out. Because I really thought he was going to be the one Braden was going to have to kill. I really did. But if you peeped it in the episode before he Bangkok Braden, when he was talking to his father and his father said, hey, that's my brother. I'm not going to give up my brother. And then Trace very comfortably said, hey, I would have gave up Brayden. So eventually, he still may have to get killed. And if he goes, he goes. Because I don't like his character at all. He's an asshole. He's not even an asshole. He's a Mick asshole. But ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the beginnings. And they foreshadowed this. Brayden, he's smart. But he's going to be Tariq's number two, of course, because Tariq has to be the number one. Because he's smarter and has more experience than Brayden in this situation. But they already showed from season one, Brayden getting in the fights. And they showing you with his shirt off, letting you know he got muscles. And, and you know what I'm saying? They show him fighting Tariq back. But it really looks like he got more hands. And he's he's bigger in mass than Tariq. So especially if Tariq don't learn how to fight. Because this is what makes him, you can't even like really 
like mess with ghosts because you can't even fight. <laughs> you can't even fight. I'm sure I'm sure ghosts learned how to fight by 18, 19 years old. Like Kane flushed Tariq, but Braden is gonna be Tariq's muscle if Tariq don't learn how to fight. They both gonna be fighting. I think at some point Tariq's gonna learn how to fight. Because it's like you can't just have him keep, he can't just be somebody who he he kill people. He gotta be able to rumble. It's not gonna be enough action. That's what made power fire because Ghost was beating niggas up. Like dudes was trying to like sleep with him in jail and he was breaking their wrists. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting Jason Mitchett, strangling him and all that. Tariq can't do that. Tariq was about to die in the office. Kane was about to put him down. But um, this is my first power review slash conspiracy slash anything that have to do with power or any shows that I like. I'm going to just start doing this. And if you made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed this video, hit a like, subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what you thought about this. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace and thank you.